Well, on to some breaking news coming in. Well, the center has launched the Bharat Biotech's nasal COVID vaccine in COVAX today. Now, the nasal vaccine was launched by Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia and Science and Technology Minister Jitendra Singh. It is the country's first nasal vaccine against SARS-CoV-2. Remember, in December, Bharat Biotech had announced that the homegrown nasal vaccine would sell the intranasal vaccine for Rs 325 per shot for procurement by the government and Rs 800 per shot for private vaccination centers. Vaccine manufacturing capacity, vaccine research, expertise, India research or innovation के लिए जो प्रयास कर रहे हैं उसकी सराहना होती हुई मैंने देखी और इसलिए मैं अवश्य कहना चाहूँगा कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत के तहत हिंदुस्तान नहीं केवल फार्मेसी ऑफ़ द वर्ल्ड बन के रहे लेकिन वैक्सीन रिसर्च और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर में भी हमारा नाम दर्ज करा चुके हैं आने वाले दिनों में यही गति से हम रिसर्च और इनोवेशन में आगे बढ़ते रहे कोई भी समस्या या तो सोसाइटी की डिमांड रिसर्च की जननी बन जाती है या तो प्राइ प्राइस हाइक रिसर्च की जननी बन जाती है व्यक्ति रिसर्च के तरफ की ओर एट्रैक्ट कब होते हैं या तो रिसर्च करने की दिशा में कब जाते हैं जब कोई ना कोई क्राइसिस खड़ी हो जाती है वैसी स्थिति में या तो दुनिया में रिसर्च हुआ हो लेकिन वो एफोर्डेबल नहीं हो ऐसी स्थिति में हम स्वयं रिसर्च करके इनोवेशन करके अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट पूरी करें उसमें से इनोवेशन पैदा होता है रिसर्च पैदा होता है मैं मानता हूँ कि हमारे स्ट्रेंथ हमने कोविड क्राइसिस में देखी हमारी ये स्ट्रेंथ हमने आत्मनिर्भर भारत के स्वप्न को साकार कर, करने में देखी कि एक बार हिंदुस्तान अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट पूरी करने के लिए ठान लेता है तो हमारे साइंटिस्ट कम्युनिटी में ताकत है हमारी सोसाइटी में एक ताकत है हमारी इंडस्ट्रीज में ताकत है जो हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट को पूरा कर सके और उसका बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल वो भारत बायोटेक है जिन्होंने विश्व में फर्स्ट वैक्सीन डोज एडमिस्टर हुआ था ट्वेंटी डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड इंडिया में भारत बायोटेक और आईसीएमआर Well, this is good news. In just first, uh, intranasal vaccine is now out. I will go across to my colleague Mayank, who's joining us live with more details on this. Uh, Mayank, well, we have learned that this vaccine needs to be given 28 days apart, and it's of course only for those who have not yet taken any uh, vaccine or a booster dose. Please share more details about this uh, monumental new vaccine that has now come into the Indian markets. See, Raksha, nearly uh, 45 days after India's drug was dogged, the Central Drug Standard Control Organization had given the green light to this uh, intranasal vaccine uh, produced by Bharat Biotech. It has been launched uh, by the central government today. Uh, Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia and the presence of Minister uh, for, for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, that this vaccine was launched and it should be available for the, on the COVID platform, which is a universal uh, pl platform for the COVID-19 vaccination for all the population in, in the country. And it should be. Uh, it is. It will be available for procurement at rupees 325 for the government facilities, uh, excluding charges, uh, excluding the GST charges. That should be around 5 percent, and 800 for the private uh, for the private facilities if they want to, you know, uh, uh, stock up this vaccine for, uh, for you know, uh, for for administering in, in, into the population. You know, talking about this vaccine, this is a hit, uh, heterologous vaccine. What does that mean? This means that any any individual above 18 years, uh, you know, 18 years. 
years of age, uh, irrespective of what vaccine they, they uh, took, uh, you know, as part of the vaccination campaign, whether they, they took uh, COVID shield or co-vaccine, they can take these, uh, this intranasal vaccine in the span of, you know, with, with the gap of 28 days. And, you know, uh, uh, both the nostrils will, will be, uh, four drops each will be administered in both the nostrils. And so, so this is what we are learning, that the idea behind this nasal vaccine is that, that the COVID-19 virus attacks the nostrils and the nasal membrane first. So as soon as these, uh, you know, uh, the drops will be put inside the nostrils, there will be, you know, production of IgA antibodies in the nasal membrane brain that will prevent you know the spread and and the propagation of of the virus at the entry point itself so that was the science and the idea behind this you know uh, production of this vaccine and it is truly historic because remember as you clearly stated in your analysis as well that this is the first intranasal vaccine that has come to fight the covid-19 pa pandemic across the world so that's why you you even heard health minister um, health minister mansukh mandavia saying that you know india does not want to limit itself as only the pharmacy of the world, but also wants to be the leader in the field of research as far as the vaccination and the COVID-19 research field is concerned. So it comes as a big sort in the arm for the government and also the manufacturing, uh, also the pharmaceutical industry in the country with the launch of this pharmacy, um, with the launch of this uh, intranasal vaccine in the country. And it should be available on the COVID-19, uh, you know, uh, platform uh, for, for, for a wider use as well uh, as soon as possible. Mayang, thank you so much for sharing all those details with us and our viewers. Appreciate you joining us live on the broadcast. Well, these are live visuals that we can see on our screen. Uh, this is the launching or the unboxing of IncoVac, India's first nasal COVID vaccine. This is Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia along with Jitendra Singh, who are... These are live visuals on your screen. You can see what they're holding in their hands. Uh, that is the box that they're opening up of Bharat Biotech's nasal vaccine, which has been launched by Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia and Science and Technology Minister Jitendra Singh. The country's first nasal vaccine against SARS-CoV-2. Well, that is a close-up visual.